To resort to violence, in fact, can be seen as being the same as your attacker. How can that be changed? To bring about change while saving lives by not duplicating an opponent's violent ways, not to engage in violence toward violence, being larger in spirit and react with more thoughtfulness to acts of aggression, do not strike back with hate, absorbing the blow or two, demonstrating a stronger will and more thoughtful conscience, not to turn aside. This is passive resistance. It calls on something in human nature that makes his hatred decrease and his respect increase. Passive resistance is not for cowards, and sometimes passive resistance takes time and patience. But most of all, it takes far more courage than even the opponent claims to have. It is not for the timid, and it should not be considered negligible. It also takes time to really be active in more than one way, to emotionally understand those who oppose you, to examine every situation to see what words would gain your opponent's friendship? By showing courage and not resorting to violence, we appeal to another's consciousness. The aftermath of violence is tragic bitterness. Nonviolence is the creation of a beloved community, a family sharing the world. The Zeitgeist Movement's actions are directed against the current socio-economic system rather than against persons who are caught up inside that system. It is evil we are seeking to defeat, not the persons victimized by evil. To retaliate with hate and bitterness or violently, we do nothing but intensify hatefulness, and therefore we must stop this game. We do not seek to defeat or humiliate, but to win friendship and understanding. Nonviolent resistance avoids not only external physical violence, but also internal violence of the spirit. At the center of nonviolence stands the principle of love. It means understanding, redeeming goodwill for all men, a love which seeks nothing in return. It is the love of humankind working. When we love on this level, we love men not because we like them, not because their attitudes and ways appeal to us, but because we share the same needs and home, earth. Because we are one single family, we are all from one planet. We all have heard there's no way to peace. Peace is the way. But no one told us that peace comes from being able to contribute the best that we have and all that we are toward creating a world that supports everyone. But it is also securing the space for others to contribute the best that they have and all that they are. 